Jerry, why is it so warm in here? It's my turn on the thermostat. I'm sick and tired of being cold all the time. Uh, what? what? What did you set it to? Some of us just want to take our little desk naps in our private offices where we can't be gawked at by you commoners. But I can't do that if you've turned the place into a freezer, now can I? Mm. Okay, uh, okay, let's, let's just talk about this. There's nothing to talk about. Your reign of icy terror ends today. Okay, but you understand that- What's going on? Well, Jerry's raised the thermostat. I'm pretty sure that's against corporate policy. That's not really what I'm worried about. You want to talk to me about policy, Greg? What about those clown ties do you somehow find to be dress code appropriate? I swear I get migraines every day purely from those ties and the excruciating cold. Cold is actually good for migraines. Uh, also- You're the worst policy breaker here. Yeah, you sleep all day in your office and then wake up and throw these big tantrums. Oh, big accusations from the previous temperature tyrant. Someone's upset that they're no longer in charge. I was pregnant. And you're our boss. Wow, throwing that in our face again, huh, Deborah? Guess what? Nobody wants to see any more pictures of your dumb baby. It's always the same baby, Deborah. Yeah, maybe this isn't the most pressing issue. Yeah, baby pictures aren't against policy. You do sleep a lot, though. You can't trick me. I know a coup when I smell one. They stink of carrots and deceit. No one's doing a coup. We're just complaining about the dumb stuff you get away with. We all know you killed two employees. Those murders were swept under the rug by our superiors and can no longer be used against me in a court of public opinion. Yeah, I don't think that's true, and I'm definitely reporting you for this. I think we should all take a look at the handbook again. Yeah, maybe later, though, because there's, like, bigger problems right now. He's right. A house divided is two houses, and we can't afford a second Windcrest branch. Our quarterly numbers are terrible. I'm sorry for taking it out on Paul and Mr. Knox. May they rest in peace. I can chill on the pictures, but you guys are missing out. In the meantime, maybe a thermostat rotation. Conflict resolved. Good work, everyone. Sir, I think I want to put in my two weeks. A denied. Ta-da.